Welcome to Mela Talks 2020, filmed during lockdown COVID-19. Mela means to meet or to gather, and in parks like I'm in now, thousands of people would be gathering, celebrating and coming together. In the absence of that, we've created this series of short talks to measure the impact and to start to identify the contribution Mela makes to the economy and to our society at large. Hi Roxy, thank you so much for joining me. How are you? Good, thank you. So Roxy, 10 years of Arts by the Sea, a very special year for you this year. How has it evolved throughout the decades? Definitely a highlight for me was projection, projection mapping the town hall for the first time two years ago. We attracted about 10,000 people to court. It was actually quite a small car park and uh, um, roundabout area. Um, but we've had fiery torchlit parades down the pier. We've had inflatable dancing horses from France. We've We've just had such an abundance because every year it, it's a really diverse programme and obviously now we're in our 10th year, that, that's quite a lot of artists we've had through the town. <laughs> and the audiences have grown year on year for you, haven't they? They absolutely have. So we're now over 100,000 people that um, come to the town um, throughout our festival weekend. So it's really heaving numbers and that's grown by about 10,000 per year um, on average. So there is a steady growth, but I think now we're at a point where we're at a sort of happy place in terms of numbers and, um, you know, we, we don't need any more. <laughs> we definitely kind of reached capacity in terms of what the town will take. So, uh, which is a great place to be. Um, and we can kind of tailor the program just to sustain that rather than be focused on necessarily attracting more and more numbers. We've got a great connection with audiences. Um, in terms of the current situation with COVID-19, what's been the impact of that on you? And also, what has been your response to it? So, of course, the impact has been massive, you know, um, the impact of COVID on the outdoor events industry and, of course, indoor gigs has, has, has been very significant indeed. Um, the summer festival sector has pretty much, you know, been cancelled entirely. But for Arts by the Sea, in some ways, we're quite fortuitous because we are in at the end of September. So in terms of timings, in terms of being able to do some something, we actually fall at a time where we might be one of the first things in that area to actually go ahead in some form. Um, in terms of the impact on the day-to-day -day workings of the festival, we are constantly assessing um, co different courses of action and different contingency plans. And we've looked at various scenarios on a scale of completely cancelling to going ahead as planned. And actually what we've ended up with is a sort of happy place in the middle. So we're going to go ahead with three quite large scale socially distanced installations. Um, one of those pieces is called In Memoriam by a, a really well regarded artist called Luke Jerram. And that installation is um, a beautiful contemplative um, piece that will be staged on, the, on Bournemouth Beach and will also be um, a tribute to NHS workers. Um, and we will also have a fire garden and a light installation um, that will actually be um, a staggered entry controlled ticketed space. So that safety is uh, first and, and foremost paramount and we're controlling crowds and ensuring that um, people can maintain social distancing within those spaces. Sounds like you've, you've used this time, this lockdown period, to really look at creative solutions. What's been one of the biggest things that you've learnt about creativity and your creativity during this season? I think it's, uh, well, we've learnt so much, but I think ultimately we are all entrepreneurs. I think that's the key thing that I've learnt from this, is that we are all entrepreneurs and we can all be entrepreneurs. Um, that is the spirit in the sector at the moment. And I think it's fantastic. And I think that the, you know, thinking laterally is important and it's something that we're all learning how to do. And, and I think ultimately that means that festivals are, that they're not going anywhere because there's such a drive behind them among the people that organize them, but also the audience appetite is, is only going to be stronger than ever after this.
which is great. Thank you so much, Roxy. It's been a pleasure to speak to you. Thank you.